Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today we've got something else Jurassic World related and this is the Jurassic World Dominion Ferocious Pack Marigaya. I'm hoping I have pronounced that one right as well but that one's not a really hard name. But this looks absolutely awesome. It's one of my favourite of the, shall we say, the attack pack figures. The pack, attack pack kind of figure packaging is minimised and changed they've actually just added just a bit of plastic here and this time round you can kind of like try before you buy and have a look at the um figure a bit more closely as before it was protected by a full plastic um like cover but the packaging is really cool i'm not going to go much into it as much now because i've done a few reviews where i've gone into the packaging but obviously we've got the nice T-Rex and we've got the really nice Jurassic World logo. The mini Mars, the packaging, and it's just got a bit of dark skies and a bit of drama in the background. Um, we, and the logo is really cool as well because I like how it just looks like the ember colouring. And we've obviously got the new scan codes to go into the Jurassic World um fax app and it pops out from the sides instead of underneath the feet which we'll check that out when we get out the packaging we've also got a new species which is really nice as well and on the back of the packaging is pretty much just the same as the other packaging it just shows you that it's compatible with the just well fax app like i said I, you can pause away and scan away when i show you the scan code on my review and then there's the, the other available figures um I am not getting blue because there will be a few blues coming out in this pack um, in this toy line, and we've also got beta as well, which is pretty much just a small version of blue, which is really cute. Um, but I've done a review on this one. I've got a review coming up of this one's coming up soon, and now I'm on to a review of this one. And these are now finally out in the UK, and it retailed for eleven no twelve ninety nine from smiths and they're available around the world so i'm not going to go on to this too much longer so without further ado i'm going to get this cool figure out of the packaging so everyone i've got the maragaya out of the packaging i'm hoping that is pronounced right but overall i think this one looks absolutely awesome and i also think it's nice that we've got another new species and um, mattel have done quite a lot of new species for the jurassic world dominion tires and they just keep doing brilliant work so there isn't really much i can say on that department but it's nice to see another air um air before what has got an articulated jaw because you don't really get many of them but i'll show you the articulation in a sec but overall i really love the colored schemes because i've always said in previous reviewers that the i love a dark colored scheme so this one's like a dark grey colour with a really dark, like black, grey, bluish colour and then a hint of cream going around the eye. So I'm going to show you the face sculpt first now. So here's the face sculpt up close. It's quite um simplistic but it's the dark colour and really complements it really well. It's got a really nice yellowy, orangey eye on both sides. As you can see, you can see the articulation on the jaw there. And it's just got nice bits of scale detailing. There's the head sculpt at the top. Looks really nicely done. I like the scatterings of the scale detailing here. And overall, I love the different, very, very different sizes of the scales and um, spikes on its body. So, around the eye, it's got this real nice scattering of this, like, bone colour, and then this bone colour on the spikes on the side. Really nicely done. Nice little groove details here. And I'm very impressed with this figure. And then the little plates or scales on the top, on its back, go from small on the... um neck area going to bigger and then going into larger and then going into spikes on the actual tail area this is like a flexible material 
flexible like rubber plastic um that's for i think like safe reasons and i like how it varies into this like dark color going into this da like dark gray and i just really love the colored scheme it's one of my favorite bits about this full figure and yeah the these spikes are like a flexible material as well and they're going to more like a plate and then spikes here and it's just really cool figure i absolutely love it it's got some really nice um rib de definitions here tiny bits of muscle definition not loads compared to other figures we've had in the past and yeah it's just really nicely done and the articulation is you can move the legs that far forward that far back same goes for this leg and then that far forward as well and the legs are quite narrowed in and then you can lift the head that far up so you can't really move it that far up but you can move it that far down then you can move the head all the way around going like that so you can get some really nice posability there and it's just on a swivel joint and it moves really nice and then you can actually articulate the jaw which you can't really do that on a lot of herbivores other than, other than like the brachiosaurus and like the bigger bigger figures um, and this is the inside of the mouth you can see that it's got smaller squarish off teeth quite flat and then the mouth is in like this nice pinkish color really nice to done and you can actually open it quite far but i think it doesn't look quite right being that far open um so i would probably have it about um i'd say about there and it looks quite cool the fact that it's Got an articulated jaw. And then, last of all, for articulation, it can actually swivel its tail. Sometimes I don't like this, and sometimes I do. But on this figure, I actually like it because it makes it look like it's swinging its tail a little bit. It would have been cool, like I've said in previous videos, that you could move the tail back and forth. But this still looks quite good. You can make it look like it could do some like swinging action by changing the direction and overall very cool figure underneath the belly it's just like in a gray color and there's the Jurassic world symbol there and the codes are really unusual i like how they've done the codes because you can never tell where there was i couldn't tell where this one was until i found out it's there so you just pull up its like plates and there is the scan code there so let me just Focus that in so you can pause away and scan away. There you go. And yeah, I really like the bone colour of the um, spikes on the sides. They go up like that. And it's a very unusual species. It obviously, it kind of reminds me of like the Stegosaurus family. So I'm going to do a quick comparison with one of the other ones, what's a little bit like a Stegosaurus family, and it's this one. They're quite similar in size. Um, I'll move it further back so you can see that they're pretty much similar in size and similar, similar in length. This one's just a tiny little bit longer and a bit more chunkier in the body, and this one's a bit more slimmer in the body. Um, but this one's got like move its body side to side like that and this one doesn't have that um but then this one doesn't have articulation on the jaw and this one does so they're really cool i think they'd look really good in heads if there was because i'm going to get a few more of these as well so they look really good together um but i wanted to just do a quick comparison with one of the stegosaurus type of families and yeah it's got Good articulation, a nice coloured scheme, um, and just an overall really gorgeous 
little figure. So my overall thoughts on this figure alone is I give it a 10 out of 10 for everything. So the coloured scheme, 10 out of 10. I love dark colours, like I said. Um, the articulation is a little bit cool. It, um, simple, but it's cool that they've added a little bit of articulation in the jaw so you can move the mouth. And yeah, it's just a really cool figure. It's definitely worth adding to your Jurassic World collection. I'm going to get a few more because it'll look good in photography, which I do photography on my Instagram, which is Liam underscore Magpie. And I do a lot of content on there to do in like come to do with upcoming reviews to do with mixture of toys because uh, toys because I do a big mixed range of toys on my channel mostly Jurassic World but I do do a mixed range of toys on my channel and yeah there isn't much more I can say this uh, and I said about the price I got the price wrong it's actually eleven ninety nine not twelve ninety nine so um these ones are a little bit more money they usually around like ten pounds but they've gone up like two pounds so yeah. But the UK has got these amazing toys now and hopefully there'll be more to come. And I've got loads more Jurassic World content coming up soon. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that alarm bell for more toy related stuff and get these from Smiths. Or you can get them from other retail places now in the UK. So I'll see you all on the next one. Bye guys.